My name is Tony and I want to show you my duck hunting boat. You guys might be interested in making something like this. It's kind of unique. What do you set up here, Tony? Let's take a walk around it. So the boat, the motor is more of a mud runner type boat? We got a mud motor mud from motor. Thailand. It's a 16 horse horizontal shaft motor. This is a Thailand mud motor kit that you can get off the internet for 500 bucks. The motor is electric start. It's a Honda clone motor. You can get that for about 350 bucks. You got less than a thousand dollars in a mud motor that works just as good as American made mud motor that costs four thousand uh, dollars. I know people who have been in their boats with the mud motors, this thing will do the same thing for a third of the price. And uh, less things that could go wrong with this too. Beautiful. Put a kicker motor right here. I have a seven and a half horse motor that I put on this. This thing there's a pin here that I could swivel this to get it out of the way of the shaft on the mud motor, but it's not really even in the way, so <clears throat> that's sweet. We've got, a, we've got mounts over here. Put trolling motor on, which is could come off on and off with the pin. And the way the canvas works is this back drops down. It's got strapping on it. By the way, my friends at Costella Canvas in Plainfield, Illinois did this whole canvas for me and they did an excellent job. The owner's name is Mark. His son's name is Zach. Very nice people. They went out of their way to help me. I really appreciate it. It turned out better than I thought it would. And uh, it's sweet. I got this idea from layout blinds. It's the same principle that you're strapping right here every three inches. And this is seven inches apart. And you put whatever kind of camouflage you want in here. I got raffy grass. I got uh, I got 50 pounds of this stuff. I'm I'm not sure if that's enough or not, but we'll find out. This is velcroed right here. So when you're not using your boat or when you are in the boat, this gets closed. And uh, no water could come in here. You can't get rained on. Your stuff can't get rained on. It's a beautiful idea. Which, by the way, I came up with. And uh, same thing up at the front. This part of the tarp comes over the top. And uh, sits right here. Beautiful. Here's the blind that you hunt out of inside here. This is a five by five, four and a half foot tall plastic drum that I got from work and I cut down and manufactured for to be able to sit in there on two stools. It's a two-man boat for hunting. That's about all you're going to get. This is not a big boat. It's a 1648 Grizzly tractor boat. Uh, I didn't have the money to buy a bigger one, but this was good enough. And uh, it's beauty -ish. I'll show you how the top works. <clears throat> Let me get inside the boat. The top raises up to shoot out of. And then you got a helpful Goose landing. Sweet. So 
Sweet. We're going to have camouflage all over this. There's two stools you sit on in here. Plus, let me have the, the uh, camera chair. Sure. It's filming. This is what it looks like inside. There's a Mr. Heater Buddy right there. Place to put your shells. Place for the gun butts to go on. Shotgun sits right in here. Sits down there. Got your stools. There's lights everywhere. There's lights in here. There's switches, lights, two batteries that jump over each other. You got plenty of power. You got uh, lights here. You got main switches here. And then you, you got the door that you can go through. Then when you're driving, you keep this door open. I'm going to put my bags of decoys right up here. And uh, when you're sitting over here, you, you got your buddy with you, but could you open that door, Jeff? You have to hold it over there. Bungee cords too long. You got a very good view of where you're going. Uh, we hunt rivers here, so you got a real good view of where you're going. And if not, well, this motor's so sweet that it's very well balanced. Pretty much holds in place where you put it, right at the top of the water. And then you just stand up to steer if you. If it's dark and you want to have a better view. And uh, there you go. Great. <clears throat> and I love the color of the canvas. And uh, yeah, I, the stitching job is uh, something else. Take a look at this. Take a picture of the front of the motor. And that motor runs strong. I say it's a 16, but they said it's rated for a 13, but it goes up the river, and uh, if you were running, you'd have a hard time keeping up with the boat. That's yeah. how yeah. powerful it is. And, and it's twice as fast going down river. And where'd you get the motor, Tony? I got up off the internet. I just put in uh, that Duramax. Yeah, I think it was off of Amazon. Was, yeah. And then it came up, and okay. uh, it was free shipping. We're going to get a 16 horse motor for uh, I think it wasn't even 350 with free shipping. So, and it's sweet. Anyways, I got Raffi grass. Like I said, I'm going to put in here. And uh, if I don't have enough, there's pappas grass all over the place that I could put in there, or cattails, whatever. It, it'll, uh, I want to continue. It'll hold it while. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we're just waiting for. If anybody uh, is in, uh, any more interested in it or what it, what your comments on it, it would be uh, welcome. And uh, just leave a message at the website that we're going to put this up. So, thank you, and uh, God bless America. Amen.